<laughs> effortless. And that's the horn. I mentioned to you before, Theo, that guys were saying, it's me, it's not the horn. But I know it's the horn. <laughs> because I know the amount of effort it takes to do that on other instruments. But on this, it's effortless. You know, it is the horn. <laughs> See what I mean? My homage was not changing. With most sopranos, you have to squeeze, you have to smile so that you can get into that top register and beyond. But with this thing, there's no effort. It stays the same, mm. you know? And on all the sopranos I've played in the past, I'm always, I'm doing <laughs> squeezing to get up there. But this, <laughs> So I'm not, all my energy's not gone there. It's just worrying about what I'm playing <laughs> and getting that across. Yeah. And also what I like about it is that the sound doesn't get smaller as you ascend. Yeah. In, in music, as you know, the higher in pitch you go, the thinner the tone. But on this soprano, on this soprano, the, the tone and the weight that you get from the low register is of equal width at the top. And what that does is give you a confidence to go for notes that you wouldn't usually go to. This time on this instrument, if your imagination wants to go for a top D, above the D, and you go for it, it'll be there. A soprano should be played as potently as a tenor or alto or baritone. You know, it shouldn't be seen as, oh, this, the, the, the weaker instrument because it's small and dainty, and, oh, you can't play with uh, uh, the octave um, above the octave. You know, you, you, should, be, you should have the unlimited, um, boundaries of expression that you have on the other instruments. And for me personally, on this instrument, on this mantra, that's where I can reach to, mm. you know? Um, usually I play other instruments, but I can do a whole gig on this. Mm. I, I can, my, my um, imagination is tweets enough on this instrument for me to just play on this. This can do everything, you know, I'm, I'm really satisfied. <laughs> So jazz music, playing the blues, um, uh, traditional structures, improvising to get back to that sound, to get back to that feeling where music will reflect the environment and make people feel better. Mm. When I play an instrument, now, after I finish playing it, I feel changed. And I think that should be what instruments, music should do for human beings. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I wake up and I wanna play soprano, you know? I wanna play, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna practice. Oh, I wanna play. And some instruments allow you to do that, mm -hmm. they inspire you. And then some instruments is like, okay, I've got to, make that low C and C sharp in tune. I've, I've got to practice that. But this, you don't have to worry about that. You just play it, you know, and, and it works. And it does it, and it leads you on to other things. So yeah, I'm, I'm more than satisfied. You know, um, I remember seeing your YouTube video. This is how I first heard of you. Mm. There was a guy playing at the trade show and he played your mantra, the silver mantra. I had to play again. And this is coming from my computer. But the sound was like, un, unlike a soprano. It sounded like an alto soprano. Yeah, right. Unbelievable. And that's why I had to get in touch with you. Mm. You know? And, and yeah, you've got me ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more players need to tell the truth about this is not a regular soprano. This is something totally different. This is, this is an innovation. And that's scary to saxophone players. But honestly, once you play it, it's all over. You know, um, I won't play anything else. I can't play anything else in actual fact. 
you know, I have a, a, an army of soprano saxophones and they, they're sitting there gathering dust. You know, um, I won't take anything else out on the bandstand. True word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.